All right, guys, I had to make a quick video for you guys on this. This is your Toyota Tundra shift linkage. This is a 2005, but it applies to many of these in Sequoias. So what happened is, uh, long story short, I went through Hurricane Ian. My truck got flooded out. It's still limping along, running, but I had water up to the lower eyeballs of the, the headlights, let's say. I actually had water to the bottom of the seat throughout the whole cab, to the bottom of the pedals, got the passenger seat wet. Anyway, this is not even related, which I thought it was. So, okay, what happens is all of a sudden you realize you can't shift in and out of gear. And I went underneath the truck thinking that's where the problem was because of the flooding that happened uh, six weeks ago. And it wasn't. I messed around with the linkage. It was still intact down there. So you got to check underneath and see if it came on coupled down there or the cable snapped or what have you. If it has not, you might be lucky like I am. And... What you're looking at right here is my culprit. What happens is this little clear plastic fitting you can see here disintegrates. It's like if they'd spent one half a cent more on these things, you would not have an issue. It is a 2005, but anyway, this plastic little snap thing disintegrates and you'll find all the parts down in the cavity there. And this cable just slips off its little rod. So that's your shift linkage for up here in the column. Okay. So I'm going to put the part number for you, or the part on Amazon down below. It's a Dorman part. It's super simple. It's this literally tiny little plastic bucket that snaps it on together. So it's a real simple fix, and you're able to use your truck even without it. You just got to rehook that and shift temporarily. And I actually stuck a little nylon nut on there, just forced it on with some pliers, um, which fell off and is down in the hole now. But oh well, I just forced it on with some pliers temporarily. Don't mangle it up. Okay, so you obviously have to access the thing or the uh, column, and here's your bottom cover. It's pretty simple. Um, it's basically three screws. You can see the two here are hidden behind the steering wheel, so it helps to have the car running so you can turn the steering wheel so that it's in this position to access the screw on the left and then the right, you turn it then. And then there's one bottom screw, as you can see, coming in from the bottom down here. And that's it. Okay, simple fix. Hope that it helps you guys. Part is in the description. And uh, good luck. It's a, ten, a, a three second repair once you have the part. And again, I will give you the part number or the uh, link below. Bye. Appreciate any subscriptions. Take care.